Shouldn't someone do something? If there's anything to do, the rebels will handle it. They've done their best to keep us safe so far. Hello again. How long has Magister Alexius been here? A day or two after. After the Conclave, he arrived. Come to save us from the wrath of the Templars, they said. But this doesn't feel like safety. You don't approve of the Grand Enchanter's decision? I was there when we voted to leave the Circle. She really seemed to care what we wanted. She was ready to rebel, but she wasn't going to unless it was the will of all mages. It's hard to believe she'd go behind our backs and sell us to the Magisters. You seem young to be part of this. I'm Lysas. I came into my magic when I was nine years old. Templars came into the alienage and took me to the Circle. They didn't even let me say goodbye. It's not right. I studied hard. I passed my harrowing. I sing the charm. But I'll be locked up for the rest of my life. Take care of yourself. There's something strange going on. I never thought the Grand Enchanter would swear to a Magister. I don't understand. Even the Templars are dead. What's going to happen? I will take these injury reports to research a Minave.
Report, sir. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall. Warden Blackwall. You're not. How do you know my name? Who said <laughs> that? <laughs> That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come. Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. 
Why do you know my name? Who are you? I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. I'm not here to accuse, not yet. I just need information. I've only found you. Where are the rest? I haven't seen any Wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire. Make you better than you think you are. I wasn't aware Grey Wardens could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a Blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. The treaties are ancient. Outside of Blights, it's as binding as a clever tongue can make it. Do you have any idea where the other Wardens could have gone? Maybe they returned to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in the Anderfels, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to. Or maybe there's a new directive, but a runner got lost or something. My job was to recruit on my own. Plan to stay that way for months, years. It's been a pleasure, Warden Blackwall, but this didn't help at all. Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. Look, maybe fighting demons from the sky isn't something I'm practiced at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being a Warden means something to a lot of people. Warden Blackwall? The Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This Warden walks with the Inquisition.
Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the Fade. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the Dales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thetis. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne. First Enchanter of Montsimard, an Enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicontess of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause.
You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. So you're in favor of returning the mages to the Circle, then? Where else can mages safely learn to master their talents? We need an institution to protect and nurture magic. Maker knows, magic will find neither on its own. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten... I support any effort to restore such order. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I'm a mage of no small talent. Will that do? Does that mean you'd be aiding the Inquisition from the Imperial Palace? Ordinarily, I would be happy to serve as liaison to the court, but these are not ordinary times. The veil has been ripped apart and there is a hole in the sky. It is now the duty of every mage to work towards sealing the breach. And so I would join the Inquisition on the field of battle. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. You are aware that the Chantry hasn't sanctioned this Inquisition. The Chantry is leaderless. They're in no position to officially sanction anything. Besides, my dear, if there is one virtue the Chant of Light teaches us, it is forgiveness. Once the Inquisition has sealed the breach, I'm sure the new Divine will not care in the slightest about official permission. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. Is your interest in the Inquisition, Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivienne. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Now that we've got better maps, if you like, I can show you a few tricks to get more out of it. Yeah, I get anything. My 
take a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. If I hadn't been saved by Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? It's been a whirlwind. It's hard to say where I fit. I guess we'll have to figure that out. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men. Soldiers. Brute force is not always the answer. There are plenty of other paths to victory. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men, they're passionate, devoted. You inspire them, build on that foundation, and you will have an army that makes nations tremble. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge.
So Vicarta sells lyrium to both mages and templars. Right. Templars use it all. Farewell. Make her go with you. With passioned breath does the darkness You came from the circle at Ostwick, did you not? Senior Enchanter Lydia was a dear friend of mine. Were you at all acquainted? Lydia was my instructor. She was almost a mother to me. I never met a wiser soul than her. I understand she was killed by one of her own students when the Ostwick Circle rebelled. I think we both agree that this war must end. The war benefits no one. It must end and order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Once this is over, the task of speaking for the Maker will be the Chantry's problem again. That's reassuring to hear. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. When there was no sky, Maker... Those who oppose thee shall do the wrath of heaven. So, like the king? Family line, all that? Oh, it just sounds so cosmic. And 
Andraste! How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is that? <laughs> Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just... person. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. Some believe I'm the Herald of Andraste. But who are you, and what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Why didn't you take their weapons? Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. Could we take a few moments for sense to reassert itself? Who are you people? I'm not people, but I get what you want. It's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you, I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. So who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hates someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh, someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have explained to them that free help is good. Back there you wanted to know if I glow. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere, and now you glow. Andraste's Herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say and all. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition.
You sound like a thief who acts out petty revenge fantasies. And that might be bad. Oh, right. You want to prop that guy up so I can say my sorries? Bad things should happen to bad people. We find someone not so bad, maybe he'll end up not so dead. Good enough? You say that like it's obvious, but you didn't know him. I knew about him. That's just rumor. Look, I'd have been fine stripping his guards and nicking his stuff. Turns out he deserved worse. Or was him trying to kill you a good thing? Are you the baddie? Didn't think so. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. So, this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Hear that? I meant the stronghold, but it sounded like... Well, it's funny, right? Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. The Templars and the Mages. Most people pick a side. Most people are stupid. But where do you stand on the war? In the middle, with everyone, not a Trevelyan, or whatever. You know what I hear about Mages? Nothing, until one goes all demony. Know what I hear about Templars? Nothing, until they take maybe Mages. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. Is there something else you're looking for? Like, what's behind all this? Maybe. I don't know. First things first, right? I help you march, march, arrow, kick. Then people stop being stupid, and everything starts to make sense again. Sound good to you, all chosen Lord Herald? I'm committed to putting an end to this crisis, whatever it takes. It's why I'm here, yeah? 
This is where it gets done. Whatever it is. Can't do a bloody thing with everyone pissing themselves. Stupid everyone. Researcher Minave wishes to use some inexpensive spirits. Have you seen Enchanter Vivienne? That's the picture of what a circle maid should be. 